Hello, I'm John. So I'm a computer science major, and I've always been interested in artificial intelligence and in robotics, recreating the brain, recreating human brains, animal brains. Yeah, recreating what makes it smart. And so my talk is about, well, why AI is good, I think, and how the road there, in my opinion, is learning a lot more about the brain and how synthetic biology can help with that. So first of all, why artificial intelligence is good. So if you look around you, the entire world that we live in, as far as this extremely expensive building being constructed, and the clothes that you wear, and the cars that got you here, everything is manufactured using incredibly automated manufacturing. And we've been able to replace what was once human and animal labor with, with construction cranes, with factory robots, and so on. If we can make a human-like artificial intelligence, we can replace white-collar labor with artificial intelligences. You'll never have to do paperwork again. You'll never have to take care of your own email. I mean, already, you don't have to drive your own car. Sebastian Theron at Google has done that. So, uh, OK. so. To give you a little bit of background on how artificial intelligence research is currently conducted, basically, you can think of the human brain or animal brain or so on as a bunch of a computing a series of functions where, for example, the cochlea of your ear makes a transformation called the Fourier transformation, where it takes a sound signal that's in what's called the time domain and converts it to what's called the frequency domain. And it's a lot easier to process the sound signal in the frequency domain. And so similarly, the vision system detects edges, detects movement, and so there's a lot of signal processing that's done by the brain. And we can recreate any of those functions often more efficiently than the brain does, but we have to know what they are. And so basically, we artificial intelligence researchers need a list of, well, that's what's represented in this picture, a list of what functions the brain computes and in what way they're connected together. And so I just wanted to try to get you guys motivated. This is a really important goal that artificial intelligence has, can bring a lot of good to the world to the same extent that heavy machinery and factory automation has done already. And to get there, I think good starting points are already optogenetics. And we can also design, OK, so basically, my, my view of this is, like optogenetics does, we can, we can make arbitrary genetic modifications to neurons that are, we can localize them based on where we inject a viral vector. And we can make our modification cell line specific by making them respond only to certain transcription factors. And so we can make neurons so that they will be selectively listening for certain electrical signals, chemical signals, or light signals. And so they'll send light, chemical, and electrical output. And so at the beginning, this will give us some basic insights on where different cell lines are in the brain and on how neurons wire together, how neurons of different cell lines wire together. And from here, we can. the next step, I think, is to get a little bit more ambitious. We already know the, the layout of how morphogen gradients lie in the brain during human development and during animal development. So we can do an in-depth analysis of the human genome and see if we can find out, based on those morphogen gradients, exactly where each cell, cell line lies within the brain. And that'll give us a basic map of how the brain works but to a better extent than what we have today. And then finally, the third step is that we could have brain-computer interfaces for both humans and animals using what I talked about earlier, using optogenetics, which is light, using artificial neurotransmitters, and using electrical signals we'll be able to watch ourselves think and watch animals think and get a complete picture of how the brain works. And then artificial intelligence people like me can come in and recreate it and take away all the menial white collar labor, leaving humans to do the creative stuff that we really want to do. Thanks, guys. Woo.